Hi everybody! I guess you can tell what I've been doing. Um, Neri, DC Scrappin' Rooster. Hi sis! <laughs> Did a video recently about um, using um, avocado skins to make a dye for fabrics. So I just had to try it. Got happy. My avocados finally ripened and I'm a little sick of guacamole now. <coughs> um, but I got totally, totally happy with it. Um, I have a 20 quart stock pot that I used and I probably put too much in in my eagerness to see what, what was going to happen. Not all of this went in at one time, <laughs> but I, a lot of it did. Um, so I just wanted to show you some of the pieces and how they came out. Um, some, some pieces took the color a lot better than others. Um, this one was a bright white. And now you can see the pink on it. And there are some uneven spots of color, but again, that's probably me putting too much stuff in the pot. Uh, this is a cotton crochet trim. And that one was white. This one was an ivory color, and I love how that came out. This one was a bright white, and I actually kept this one in the pot overnight, and I haven't ironed any of these yet. A bunch of them definitely need to be ironed, but this one stayed in the, in the pot overnight. So I'm actually kind of surprised it's not darker than it is, but I'm glad that it isn't darker, but it took a long time for this particular one to grab a hold of the color. Um, this was a cream colored lace fabric that I have. I love how that came out. That's going to be gorgeous making flowers with. Ah, let's see. Let's see, let's see. What else have we got? Something different. This one I need to pull out another piece of the pink lace. I, I'm pretty sure that this one came out, just basically turned the pink to be more of an antique, antique pink, which I think is really pretty. And this one might have been another pink one to start. I'm not quite sure. I'll have to pull another piece of it out to, to look. But again, a gorgeous color. Um, I did some doilies. Some I left in longer than others just to see what would happen. Um, this one was just a quick dip into it. Uh, this one I think I put in the first batch where it boiled, boiled in it for 25 minutes. And this one, um, I'm pretty sure, was probably overnight. So you can see the three different colors there. Yeah, the ones that I did a quick dip, um, I actually did the next day. These were kind of a yellowy cream color to start. Uh, this one I think was in the 25 minute boil or maybe overnight. And this one was a, just a quick dip the next day. love this one. This one was kind of um, a taupey, a tan taupey color. And now it's got that, just that little bit of pink hue to it. 
Don't know if that's showing up on the camera or not, but I love the color that it became. Looks very, very vintage. Now this one, I do have a piece of the a piece of before and after. This is another one that it took a long time to grab the color. But I love the end result. This is original and this is after the dye. And I gotta say I like the dyed color. I like this color, but I like the dyed color better. But very, very vintage looking. And I did some napkins. Um, most of them were a quick dip. And again, I haven't ironed them. But uh, this one was white. And it's got, I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. But you will, Actually, you can see it better now than you could when it was white, that there is a design threaded in there. So there's that. This is another one. I think this was one that I did a quick dip on the next day. And again, there's a design in it. And when they were white, I might not have used them, but I might use these now. Um, let's see. This was a bright white. Love it. Um, this was a bright white. Yeah, this is the material, some of the material that I used to make one of my last flowers. So you can see the white and now the color that it is now. Love it! This is so much fun to play with. I'm pretty sure this one was white. Now it's a gorgeous light pink. This was a creamy chiffon um, type fabric and this one came out really splotchy but if I'm making flowers it might not matter so much. So my advice definitely is don't put too much in the pot at one time. And then I use some, put in some strips of my um, flower sack cloth that are bright white. And I did make a flower with that and it came out really pretty. And I also did some wedding applique. And one of them was in the pot for a while and the, the other one the next day was a quick dip. And I love both of them. This one was in there for a while. And that one was a quick dip. Love it, love it, love it. And then there's another piece. I did, uh, did a few pieces on this trend. This one was a quick dip also. So was that one, and this stayed in longer. So yeah, I'm super excited about that. I mean, the, the colors are just absolutely gorgeous. Um, so definitely um, check out um, Neri's video. I'll put a link down below. And I'm also going to put a link to Olivia Hernandez who also did this and she did a video of the pieces that she did but I'm going to link you to um, the video of the project that she just finished um, doing with her avocado dyed pieces because it is just absolutely stunning so <laughs> definitely so many possibilities oh yeah this was an ivory cotton cotton trim 
So, yeah, I am super excited and anxious to see um, what other things can be used to come up with different colors because this is just awesome. Love it, love it, love it. So, um, I actually have a haul video from my um, yard sale adventures this weekend. And I will have coming soon two more um, shabby flower tutorials. Um, yeah, sometime in the next couple weeks. I'm going to do the haul video tonight, but it might be a couple days before I get it loaded up. But I did want to get this up because I know Neri is anxious to see, you know, how I got on with this. So, hope you all like it. Give it a try. Check out Neri's video. She gives the instructions for it. And check out Olivia's video for a project that's completed with these. So, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.